Morning guys, Nick and Jerry here with Northwest Open Season. So we're out here early. Uh, should we say Clackamut Park? Sure. Down here at Clackamut Park and we're gonna do a little shad fishing. Meeting up with uh, PK, he's getting ready in the background here. Um, he hasn't really done a lot of shad fishing so we're gonna see if we can't get him on some shad and uh, fill some coolers up and get some crab bait. So stick around and uh, we'll check in with you later. <clears throat> I got some jigs, um, some tan fit jigs, uh, one thirty second, one sixteenth ounce jig heads, mm -hmm. uh, the chartreuse um, grub. Okay. Nice. All right. Come on, buddy. Here goes PK's first shad. First shad in Portland on the pink jig head chartreuse grub. All right, time to put you out of your misery, buddy. You, you had that green grub on there, right? Yeah. Okay. It's uh, cartoons with like uh, no, no glitter. flakes in it. Yep, yep. That's yeah. what I use. Hot stuff. Is on another one here. I can't seem to catch anything but snags. Jerry's got two. I think I must have beginner's luck, maybe. Oh, no, beginner's luck would be bringing up a Chinook. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I know I thought that one. I want to catch that one that jumps. He was huge. Boy, I love how they fight, man. They fight hard. Yeah. Came off right there. Happens. Yeah. Close to the shore. PK's got another one. I don't even have time to get retied. Chad. Nice. Whoa. Come here, buddy. On that uh micro jig with the curly grub. Yep. Pink jig head. There you go. That's a nice size one too. Yeah. Alright, today I'm using a steelhead rod just so I can cast farther. I got 12 pound mono as my main line. And what I'm doing is I'm tying into a, a three-way snap swivel here. And from there I've got about four feet of a 10 pound mono leader and today and most days for us that uh, pink jig head with a gold hook 132nd ounce is our go-to rig and some days they like this chartreuse grub other days it doesn't seem they like it as much and then for weight what we're doing is today I'm using a one ounce we've got a bit of current here but when the current's softer sometimes I'll go as low as half ounce the idea is here is that we're going to cast out as soon as it bumps bottom or just above bottom uh, we're going to pop it up and just have a nice steady somewhat fast retrieve all the way back in pick it up cast repeat and what we're doing is we're dragging it 
near the bottom, but just above it, and we're uh, dragging across the different lines that these shad are coming up the current end, and eventually we run into them, and it's game on. So, other other things work great: shad darts, dick knights. You know, a lot of little spoons that work well, but for us, it seems like this uh, this one thirty second ounce pink jig head is our go-to. All right, is it snaggy? It's very snaggy. I'm going through gear like crazy today. <laughs> I've got more snags than I have fish so far today, but... Uh, What's it feel like when they hit? You know, it, it just gets heavy. It's not, it's not a bite. It's not really a tug. It just feels like you've kind of snagged into a, a wet rag or something. It just gets heavy and then set the hook and it's, it's game on. And then they start fighting and they fight really well. These were really, really fun fish to catch. Uh, you know, they come back in the millions. Um, you know, a few million is a typical year. Last year, I think there was eight or ten million. Um, and these are all in the Columbia counts. The Willamette doesn't count their shad. But a lot of fish coming back. It's a lot of fun. Um, Got to get out here and try this. Good crab bait. Excellent crab bait. Yep. Definitely love our shad for crab bait. Yep. <laughs> wow. First time for everything. There we go. Sucker on the fish. I snagged up, and then I caught a fish. Huh. Yeah. Never seen that before. Yeah. Sweet. You got the magic touch or something. Something. They got. They like this jig. We're supposed to be the ones showing you what to do. <laughs> That's a jig right there. That's a, that's a bigger grub than we use, too. I wonder if that's making a difference, Jerry. It could be. Like a one inch or inch and a half. This is actually a uh, crappie or panfish kit I got from Walmart. <laughs> a little cheap kit. It looked pretty good when you sent me that picture. Yeah, this is what, this is the size we normally use. Oh. Much smaller. Yeah. But obviously. <laughs> Not working as well today. Apparently size matters today. Feel free to dig right into it. It's right it's right there on top of my bag. Yeah, we might have to. You can know yeah, we might have to. Go for it. I mean even the sucker is alive in it. <laughs> this is kind of stuff you have to deal with down here. Yep. See these guy this guy on the point down here was fishing there first and then this boat anchored up about 20 feet in front of him right in his casting lane and now they're yelling and cussing at each other so I don't know why this is such a big issue down here but it is it happens to us if you're on the bank there's only so many places you can fish Yeah, it's too bad. It's a little more critical to find the travel lanes if you're in the boat though. But if you're on the bank, then you get to reel it across. Back to the plain jig head? Yeah. Plain jig head? Yep, took the grub off again. No, no, uh, no grub? No grub. Really? Yeah. Jerry's hooked up, finally. Normally from the bank, I do better without the grub. In the boat, I almost always need the grub on. That's really interesting. All right, folks, Jerry's on. What is this, number three for you? I think so, yeah. Cool. Have you kept all of them so far? Yeah. Nice one. Very nice. That was without the grub this time. They've been biting the grub really well, but then he took the grub off.
All right, Nick, on the board. big. Okay. No, it's taking line. <laughs> this is a good prop to have. <laughs> You're gonna be here for a while. I gotta game when I can. <laughs> Even if you can slide him into the shore at least, get a view of him before he takes off like crazy. Remember you're on a five minute loop, so. Oh. About, 
few minutes. You might hit the button and then restart. Okay. Run out of line? Yeah. Get close. Good though. It's free. Oh. No. There it is. Damn. Get yeah. anything back or you break off? I think you broke everything. I think if you I wasn't brought him in. It very hard either. Yeah, I think if you brought him in with a 10 pound test, it, it would amaze me. <laughs> it would be really, really awesome. Yeah. Those scoots on there are pretty sharp though. Yeah. Alright. Well, that was awesome. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Yep. Back at it. Here we go. Alright guys, PK's got another one here. I just hooked a sturgeon and broke my line. Whoa. Is it a shad? Or a Springer. Yeah. Oh, dang it. Came off. All right, Jerry's on here. Starting to pick up a little bit. It's raining pretty good, so I'm sure we got water on the lens. Finally, had the camera rolling too. Nice. You slow it way down? Oh yeah. Yeah, I think that's the ticket. It's almost it's uncomfortably current. slow. Yeah, yeah, I think there's so much current, you're lifting up over them. Yeesh. <laughs> Every time I think, yeah, I'm gonna keep it. It pops off. Quick release. Okay. Fish on. Nice. Just after it hit bottom too, so it's a ways out there. But we're finally starting to get into them a little more consistent. Man, I can imagine when it's peak season. It's gotta right. be every cast. What we noticed we had to do here was we had to slow it down a lot. So we we're just reeling uncomfortably slow. Trying to keep brighter. it right next to the bottom. That seemed like it's getting brighter too. Yeah, as the sun's coming up, might be making them more active. Good uh, crab hawk size. Nice little haul. About all we're looking for.
right guys here's a an update slowed down for quite a bit jerry just hooked up that's probably the first fish that any of us has hooked in at least a half hour 45 minutes so it's nice to see another fish on i think we're probably getting close to being finished we've got probably probably hooked 15 or 20 fish between the three of us we've each kept five or six i think so we're not looking to keep a whole bunch today we're kind of just fishing for fun now Quick release. Yeah, and that's how it's been. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing we've never done is really check the tides before we go shad fishing. Yeah. I didn't know the tide comes all the way up here at all. Yeah. I'm really shocked. But, uh, yeah, well. It's pretty much, I think because of the Columbia, the tide on the Columbia and there's so much water out there that uh, yeah. it just kind of backs up into here. Right. There's tidal influence on the Columbia clear up to Bonneville. Okay. And sure. then if they dump a bunch of water out of the Columbia, yeah. this place turns into a lake. Really? Yeah. Alright guys, so we're done. Uh, we got out here about 6 o'clock and between the three of us we probably got 15 or 20 fish total. Lost a few. Kept PK kept three. Yep. I think we kept six or seven. So uh, we did pretty good. We had a good time. We got into them for a little while and then it just shut off and got slow. So we're going to pack things up um, while it's not raining and we're going to get out of here. So PK's channel is Oregon Life. Check him out. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.